Everybody born in Munich knows this sentence. Ich gehe in die Stadt. I'm going into town. And this sentence refers to a specific geographical area. I'm not sure if this sentence makes sense in other cities. I'm pretty sure that if you ask somebody from Berlin, London or Paris, they wouldn't have a clue what you're talking about. But maybe not having a town is a characteristic of a metropolis. I'm curious how it is in your city. Leave a comment. Back to Munich. The Stadt, the town, is bordered by four public transport stations. Isator, Odeonsplatz, Karlsplatz Stachus and Sendlinger Tor. Those are the stations where the main city gates used to be. Munich, like most cities, used to have a city wall. Here Munich has a typical star fortress of the early modern era. As siege technology advanced, the cannons became more and more powerful and the city walls became obsolete. In the 19th century city walls were perceived only as obstacles. They stood in the way of modernization and were therefore demolished. In poorer regions there was usually no money available to demolish the city walls. Today, of course, these city walls are tourist attractions in towns such as Rotenburg ob der Tauber or Nördlingen. Shortly after Munich was founded by the Guelph Henry the Lion, Munich also got its first city wall at the end of the 12th century. Little remains of it today, except for this one. Can't you see it? It's a Talbot gate, which was integrated into the old town hall. Beyond that, there are hardly any remains today. But you can still find quite a bit of the second city wall, except at the Odeonsplatz. This is where the Schwabing gate once stood, which had to make way for the construction of the Odeonsplatz. But the other three of the four main gates are still standing, the Karlstor on Karlsplatz. It can almost be overlooked because it blends in so well with the frontage of the houses. Then there's the Sendlinger Tor in the south, while the castle was hit in World War II, the Sendlinger Tor remained intact. However, structural changes were also made to it. For example, the main gate was enlarged at the beginning of the 20th century at the expense of the smaller gates on its sides. This was due to the increase in car traffic. In the 1960s it was even planned that the Autobahn would end at the Sendlinger Tor. Fortunately, Munich was spared this nightmare. And in the east is my favorite gate, the Isar Tor, which was the main gate of the city. Emperors Charles V, Maximilian I or the Swedish King Gustav Adolphus all entered the city at the Isar Tor. Also hit hard in the Second World War, it gives the best impression of how the city gates were laid out in Munich. It's the only gate in Munich that still has a main tower. And thus also a forecourt in which the goods entering the city were checked in earlier times. But the Isar Tor also had to pay its tribute to modernity. In 1888 the two side gates were enlarged to make room for the tram. The main tower has a special feature, especially from the west side. Can you spot it? The clock on this side runs anti-clockwise, a sign that the clocks run differently in Munich after all. And a homage to the Munich comedian Karl Valentin, to whom a museum in the Isar Tor is dedicated. Above the gates you can also see a fresco depicting the triumphal procession of Emperor Ludwig the Bavarian after the Battle of Amfing. It is not coincidence that Munich city colors, black and yellow, have also been the colors of the Holy Roman Empire since this time. Apart from the three main gates, only a few remains of the city wall can still be found. Just north of the Isar Tor, you can find the remains of the Princess Tower. The largest remains can be found in the Jungfernstraße, where the Jungfernturm, the Virgin Tower, once stood. According to legend, there was a statue of the Virgin Mary there, which the condemned had to kiss, whereupon a flap opened beneath him and he plunged down into a dungeon. Today, the course of the Altstadtring, the innermost ring road, is the best indication of where the city wall once ran. Everything within the ring is the Stadt, the old medieval heart of Munich with its extensive pedestrian passage. I hope you enjoyed the video and it was interesting for you. If you are interested in a personalized guided tour through Munich, please contact me. You find my email address here and I see you in the next video.